conditions not as bad here across the Rio Grande Valley. We are definitely seeing cooler temperatures, but nothing like that sort of that's going on in the East Coast. There. Of course, all the winter Texans are here escaping all that cold weather. Here's a live look from the South Texas College in McAllen. Temperatures at 49 degrees. We are definitely feeling the effects of a cold front that arrived late last night. That dew point at 35 winds out of the northwest at nine miles an hour. We are expecting that cloud cover to last throughout the rest of today, so we're not going to see much sunshine. Cooler tips today. We are going to be warming up drastically for the weekend with highs back into the 80s, so we can expect 80 degree temps as soon as tomorrow there, but we are expecting some rain chances along our coastal areas as well as another cold front arriving late Sunday into Monday that's going to bring some significant rain chances. As we look at the weekend, expecting highs to about 80 degrees for Saturday, 84 for Sunday, and we're going to start seeing that rain chance start ramping up heading into Sunday there uh, with that cold front and it's going to last into early Monday morning. So we're going to be in the 80s for the weekend and then Monday we're expecting those temps to be significantly cooler once again, only topping out in the low 60s, lows in the 50s and 40s. Right now 49 in Edinburgh, 49 in McAllen, 53 in Harlingen, and we are seeing those north winds, so it's making those temperatures feel all the more cooler. So when you factor in those winds, it feels like 36 in Westlaco, 34 in Rio Grande City, 33 degrees in Raymondville there, and so that wind is definitely uh, causing that wind chill to feel a bit on the miserable side if you are outside across the valley. Winds out of the north between 12 and 15 miles an hour, at times gusting to 20 miles an hour. As we look at radar and satellite, we're seeing a lot of cloud cover, but we are trying tracking a few isolated scattered showers that are just well offshore here and we could see some of these showers make their way inland. So there's going to be that rain chance for South Padre Island for the rest of today there with a few stray showers. Future clouds and radar is showing those lingering showers just hug the coast there as we head into the afternoon hours into the early morning hours, but we're just going to remain cloudy for the rest of today and a bit on the chilly side, but we will be warming up actually for the overnight hours across the south central US. Uh, that cold front well to the south of Texas there, but for the next seven days we're going to just continue seeing that cloud cover just uh, settle on in and have that isolated rain chance for our coastal areas there as we head into Sunday into Monday and then that cold front arriving Monday morning that's going to bring some widespread rain chances there for Monday there so we can expect to have a fairly wet commute as to our start of our work week as we head into the start of next week as well as cooler chilly temperatures so it's looking like a wet and cold start to next week as we head into the next several days as we look at the situation in terms of the today expect highs to only top out in the upper 50s in the lower valley, upper valley only getting up to about 53 degrees. We were seeing vast temperature differences uh, between the lower valley and upper valley there. But other than that, uh, tonight is going to be a little bit on the warmer side there. For your seven day forecast, highs in the 80s for the weekend, a cold front arriving on Sunday night into Monday, bringing rain chances and those temperatures back into the 60s and 50s. So keep those jackets on standby because those nights are going to remain chilly.